Guys, I just had the most exhilarating conversation with someone that I actually have a lot of time and trust and love for. Um, they were trying to calculate what to do. Um, this person is very, very, very academic, not only in their uh, thought process, but just the way they govern themselves. Um, and they were trying to work out like what, what they should do and they want to jump from where they are to something new. And they wanted to understand the 10 steps to do so. And probably my worst advice, but equally my best advice was stop calculating. If you want to calculate something, may I suggest that you calculate what you need for at least 12 months uh, in terms of money or cash on hand, and then literally just throw yourself into it uh, and work your way through the situation, um, which was very, very polarizing for this specific person, purely because not only are they a mathematics major, <laughs> but uh, they're a teacher. Um, and the entrepreneurship side of what I was trying to speak to really was something that was really unique and different uh, and somewhat scary as well. So um, my advice to them was maybe stash some cash for the next six to 12 months and put your head down and then call it, you know, call it October for an example um, is the day, first of October is the day that everything stops and you're actually gonna focus 12 months of time and you're gonna give it every single chance if I flip gears to some of the entrepreneurs that I've kind of been around and hanging out with and advising, uh, both from a board perspective and from just a mentorship perspective, um, there's a kill date as well, right? In a venture that's sort of not getting the traction that it needs. And by that, what I mean is, if you are working on a project that is sucking the life out of you and you are not getting the traction that you think you deserve or the traction that the opportunity really deserves, then you have to set a kill date. You have to set a date where everything just stops and you wave the white flag, you take the lessons from that experience, um, and it is a failure, but you take the lessons from that experience and you push them into the new or, or the next opportunity. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that it, if COVID has taught us anything is that we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Uh, it's been 12 months since we've been able to get back to 100% at the office. Uh, it's pretty exciting, but life, life's pretty fragile. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.